Write excellent descriptions and excellent settings by describing only the things that are unusual, things that your reader is not going to be familiar with. If you're gonna talk about a hospital in America, we don't need to describe that because your reader is pretty much gonna know what that looks like. If you're gonna talk about the French Revolution as in the Scarlet Pimpernel, you're gonna talk about guillotines, you're gonna talk about the different types of clothing that they wear, which is very different than what we have now. But when you're writing descriptions, write what is unusual in the description, and then make sure that whatever is written in your description somehow comes back and plays back into the story. For instance, if you write about a crocodile in the background of your story, the crocodile better show up sometime. If you write about a gun that is in the house that you described, the gun better go off. If you write about a collection that your character collects, somehow that's got to figure into the story. Um, when you write about a dive knife, which I needed at the end of Chasing Sunrise, then I had to go back into the beginning of that book and write in the dive knife attached to his normal scuba gear so that then later on when it showed up at the end and it was a pertinent piece of equipment that he needed, it seemed normal because we'd already talked about it at the beginning of the book. So anything that you write in in your description always has to count. It always has to come back later. It also, your descriptions need to be about the things that the reader is not going to automatically be familiar with. It needs to be about the things in your setting that are unusual.